are the basic steps to get you going with a race replay? You must go through an initial uh, configuration stage, which you only have to do once unless your um, config your data file is modified, the structure of it is modified. During this process, you will explain to the race replay how your data file is configured. Here's the first page of race replay. Uh, this is the one you see when you start it up. First step is to give the uh, boat a name. Mine is called my boat and then go and select your data file. This file that I have is a uh, comma separated value file. Any text file will do. Next step is to go through the configuration and explain to Race Replay how the log file is configured. To do this, click on the wizards on the little hats here to launch the config file manager. This will essentially uh, create a config file once you go through the process. So here's the window. The very first step is to specify to the config file manager what is the field delimiter in your log. In my case, it's a comma separated um, value file. Then, you must load all the labels which are in the log file. Uh, to do this, you must have the labels must be at the very top of that log file. If they're not present, this will cause problems. So here we go, we click on Tools, Load Labels from Log File. I specify my log file again and it's done a bit of filling in of all the labels it's found. Next step is to specify how the date, time and GPS fields are configured in the log file. In my case, in my log file, date, time are in a single field, so I will check date, time as one field and then go through the process of selecting the uh, label that's actually in the log, in this case date, time, which is quite appropriate. Um, for the GPS field, um, my log file has the latitude and longitude both in the same field, so this is why I selected this option, and I will now go through the, uh, the uh, different labels and find the label for the uh, GPS position, which is POS, that is uh, usually the default for Deckman. I specify the uh, latitude and longitude format in my log file. They come in as degrees, minutes, and fractions of minutes. I finally, on this tab, need to specify different values for true in speed and true in angle bins. Now these correspond a little bit to what you would have in a polar, except that you might specify uh, something a bit more um, finer definition, more points. And this is quite important because these points will appear in all the reports. So essentially, the more points you have, the more refined your analysis will be, except that if you have too many different uh, true in speed and true in angle bins, you won't find that many data points in every box. So you have to try to find um, the right, right numbers. If you don't know what to put, just click on default and use whatever the program proposes. Moving on to the uh, next tab, we're starting to define how race replay should read the variables. Some of these variables I have called known variables because they are essential to the functioning of race replay. For instance, true and angle. All I need to do now is specify what's the actual label in, that, in the log for true and angle. In our case, it's TW underscore angle. Same process for true and speed, which is TW underscore speed, true and direction, and boat speed. Now, heel is heel as well. There are some other essential variables, known variables, which have some options. Heading is a little bit less essential, so you have the choice to have it used or uh, not used or, or from the log. I know mine is in the log, so I choose from log and then specify what is the actual label in the log. Um, the performance variables, which are boat speed performance, VMG, and uh, boat speed target, can either be picked from the log, if they are in the log, or you can tell Race Replay to recompute them using this, the polar that you will specify when you run Race Replay. Um, so in that case, I'll leave them like that. Going further down, apparent wind angle. Not essential, but if you have it, it's always better to put it in. Then you'll be able to monitor it. Apparent wind speed, same thing. Speed over ground. I know it's in my log, so I might as well specify it. Course over ground as well. There it is. And the other variables I'm not going to go into now, they serve mostly for um, advanced calibration reports, which I'll um, talk about later in some other tutorial. 
Moving on to the log variables. Log variables are all the other variables which are in your log but are not standard known variables. Let's take an example. I have force day and I know that this force day is coming from a valid load cell on the boat. So I do want to display this and analyze it. So I'll click on force day, specify that it's a scalar, give it the name that it will have throughout my program. Force day is a good one. And format it's going to have two decimals, that's fine, and I can specify the units. Now, I'm being on a big boat, we happen to have two rudders. Now that makes things a little interesting. So I actually want to monitor those. So I will select port rudder and starboard rudder. I can specify that their angle is 180 or leave them a scalar because the, the range of a rudder is not that large, so we're never going to go through uh, with full 180 through full 360. Um, specify a name. I don't really like P underscore rudder, so I'll call it rud port. And the other one is also a scalar, and I'll call it rud starboard. I'll specify the decimals. Only need one decimal. Put some comments if we have to. There we go. Uh, specify units, degrees. Now a rudder is a bit um, of a funny sensor because it's actually asymmetric in the sense that it doesn't tell you plus or minus depending on whether the rudder itself is going to leeward or to windward, but rather if it's going to port or starboard. So depending on the tack that you're sailing on, it's actually asymmetric. So to uh, reverse this, I have the option of of clicking plus minus tack which does exactly this. It specifies that this specific uh, variable is asymmetric. Right, I'd probably go on and do all the other variables in exactly the same way.